This is KXAN News at 5. The big news this afternoon, a round of rain here in Central Texas, and it also brought some strong storms. Strong enough to knock out power to 2,700 Austin Energy customers this afternoon, mainly in the area east of I-35 and north of East Runberg Lane. Austin Energy crews are assessing the damage there. They believe the lightning caused the outages. Jim Spencer tracking those storms in our first warning weather center. Yeah, these summertime thunderstorms will produce a lot of cloud-to-ground lightning, and they will also produce some very gusty winds. We've had reports of uh, some some wind damage to an awning uh, on a home in Westlake uh, Hills. A uh, severe thunderstorm watch has been issued now. It's in effect until midnight. It includes Travis County, Blanco County, Hayes County, and then our eastern counties. Uh, there is actually a severe thunderstorm warning in effect for Hayes County right now. But let me show you here on our storm profiler radar. Uh, the storm was actually that was warned for uh, was this one down here in extreme southern Hayes County, north of Canyon Lake. Well, that has moved now out of Hayes County. So you folks in Hayes County. County are all right over there around San Marcos. You do have a little thunderstorm that does not appear to be severe. Most of this activity is now south of Austin. A couple of thunderstorms continue over there in Bastrop County. That may produce some gusty winds between Bastrop and Smithville, and then others moving out of our Hill Country viewing area at the present time. Uh, you won't believe what triggered these storms this afternoon. It was the high temperature, a record breaker. We'll talk more about that and your weekend weather coming up in your first 20 forecast.